Peter Muller, what a absolute rugby legend. 1992, picture it. It's uh, the first game that South Africa are playing back in international sport. Uh, when it comes to rugby, New Zealand are the team that we're playing against. A great New Zealand team. Zinzan Brook in the side. Uh, players like uh, Frank Bunser in the centre, right up against our centre in uh, uh, Peter Muller. You've got amazing players in that team. And yet, yeah, we lost. But we lost in a way that was spectacular. Peter Muller, welcome to the show. And uh, first of all, thank you for all your service as a Springbok. Those three, three caps with you at center is amongst the uh, records that we have here in South African rugby. Well, good evening, Thomas. Uh, I must say, looking at you in that, in that jersey, you look like a well-developed uh, athlete, you know. So uh, I think you fit nicely into that jersey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, let's get to your opinion on that before we talk about your career. What do you think of the new jersey? What makes it special? Uh, you know, uh, Thomas, I went to the launch the other night uh, with Essex and that, and listening to what they've d done with uh, the players taking it over to Japan and what they've done with the whole jersey and uh, with the, with the moisture, moisture absorption and all of that, I think it's, it's a great jersey. Um, I know people are talking about the bookie on the... On the um, on the arm but um you know what it's a world cup here you know it happened in the last world cup so you know i think we mustn't be deterred about where the where the book is as long as you know we we shout for 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 the springboks and, and the nation is behind them i think that's all all the springbok wants the jersey was tested by seven box in japan they put it through its paces we're seeing some of those visuals now peter they even the players even helped design the socks the socks are special I couldn't believe the level of detail. We can't lose with special socks. No, no, especially with those socks, you can't lose. And I think it just hopefully will keep all the muscle and speed in it for, uh, for the guys to perform. Now, what are, what are the chances? We're in, gr in Group B. We've got three countries in the top 10 in the world. Uh, Samoa are ranked 9, Scotland 10, J Japan are 13, the USA are 16. So we've, we're in quite a tight group. What are our chances there? What do you think? Uh, Thomas, I think, you know, the, the chances are quite good, you know, the, the, with the first, uh, first round, you know, um, you want to end up on top, you know, uh, going into, the, into the, uh, the next rounds, you know. But I think, you know, the box will just focus on getting those, those first round games under their belt and, and make sure they, you know, they get a pat and they get com comfortable with the weather conditions and, and move from that game on to the next game. Uh, you know, I don't think they're too concerned about what happens after that first round. Now, one of the other special features of the jersey, and I play a bit of golf, so I got new clubs and they were lighter by 30 grams on the other one. This jersey is 70 grams lighter than the previous jersey. 70 grams. That's actually quite a lot. But let's leave the jersey for now. You didn't have this kind of technology back in the 90s when you played. You had something else, though. <laughs> Tremendous heart. You're part of our history in South African rugby. What was it like? to play in that very first test match, to be in the very first team to represent the new South Africa? You know, Thomas, I think for any player just to, to, to play for the box, you know, or, you know, was, was, is, you know it's really, a, you, that's one, something you want to you dream about, you want to do. But I think 92, being after isolation, you know, seeing the All Blacks playing in the World Cup in 91, uh, um, you know, seeing your, your peers, uh, playing in the World Cup and you're not part of it. You know, I think that 92 changed everything and, you know, going out there um, in, in Alice Park and, you know, seeing a, a nation, you know, proud to be back off and, and seeing playing against the best country in the world. Uh, it's a great experience. You know, I think you saw a lot of big men cry on the field and, and on the stands. And you scored. Don't be shy. You crossed the try line. You did the business. <laughs> we scored three tries. Still lost, but we were the better team that day. I'll never forget it. Yeah, I think we were the better team on the day. Uh, I think we had a couple of opportunities. James Small knocked the ball over. I think the try line, we had two other opportunities. You know, my try came because I think I was scared, scared of the big Inga, the winger, as they call him. You know, you, I think he had to double the legs of uh, Jonah Lomo at that mm. stage. And I was just trying to get away from him to get over the try line. Now, Peter, final thing before we go is you missed out on the World Cup in 1995 because you had a career ending. Uh, neck injury, Every, people thought you may even uh, lose your life to this injury. What happened and what then possessed you to four years later get back into a Springbok jersey? 
I'll just, I just, I think it's just being getting back into a jersey. But the injury was a, a, a neck injury on a C6 and 7, what they call it, and they had a fusion done. Basically, it was just in a warm-up game before the World Cup. Uh, I think three, uh, three week months before, and and just tackled the guy the wrong way and um, uh, had to sit out. But uh, that September, I was already training again. Wanted to get back. Had an opportunity to go to league um, in Australia to play there for a year, two years, and I think it g gave me confidence to come back and play for the box again. You did it. You got those caps. A big four-year gap between. Risk your life for the country, and we appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining us tonight on Sport at 10.